Glenn Lease is based in Sydney, Australia, with operations in New York, Chicago, LA, Boston, Washington, DC, and Nashville. And we have a 50 year privatization agreement with the US Army to manage their hotels and guest properties across the US at 40 different installations, totaling about 14,000 hotel rooms. Under our privatization agreement, we are currently building and renovating hotels. In the last few years, we've been experiencing issues with worker shortages and, and shortages in skilled labor and the opportunity to deliver the projects when we need to for our client. And so we started going down the path of utilizing mass timber and cross laminated timber to help deliver buildings. And what we found is that when we're doing our new hotels out of this as opposed to metal stud framing, we're able to build our buildings faster with fewer people. And the fact that the mass timber is a renewable resource, sequesters carbon, and it's faster and safer than what we've done before that we think that this is a good way of building, moving forward on future projects for us and for the Army. Redstone Arsenal is the first hotel that we did in the United States built out of cross laminated timber. It was not our first project that we've done globally. Lendlease began its journey on cross laminated timber about five years ago when we started to build a 10-story condominium project in Melbourne, Australia called Forte. And we finished that in 2013. And since then, we have done a couple of residential buildings in London, as well as another commercial building and a library in Australia. We've done multiple CLT projects, mass timber projects, and this is the first one for us in the United States. We feel with uh, cross laminated timber, the mass timber allows us to do uh, faster and with fewer people than we had done before uh, with our redstone project that was built with 11 carpenters. And normally, uh, hotel of that size would have taken 26 carpenters to assemble out of metal studs. So the fact that we're able to reduce the amount of manpower required and do it faster is, is a benefit for us. We think in the private sector the applications are, are numerous and we especially think that it can be work well in the 6 to 12 story sector where typical wood stud buildings have to top out at 5 stories due to code. CLT and mass timber allows us to go much taller up to 12 stories pretty easily without additional engineering considerations and therefore maybe that gives developers, especially in the multifamily sector, an opportunity to get more density than they previously had otherwise for a, for a cheaper cost per square foot. In addition to the speed and the less manpower required, it can provide aesthetic benefits if you leave it exposed. Uh, wood gives you a look and a feel that you don't get from concrete or steel and you don't get it necessarily from painted drywall, but there's a, there's a certain warmth that you get out of that. It, differentiates the product of what the client or the occupant of the unit or the apartment would have that they don't have elsewhere. Another key thing is the energy efficiency. The CLT, when it's used in the exterior envelope, can provide a thermal mass and you can have wild temperature fluctuations outside and the temperature of the building is going to stay the same for, for a while. And what we found that the Redstone project, it was modeled that the building will use 31% less energy than an identically sized building in the same client built to current codes. So for us, for the long-term perspective, because we as Lend Lease, not only did we build it, we developed it and we helped design it, we own the property for the next 50 years for the Army and utility costs are a concern for that. And so any opportunity to save 31% on your operational expenditures for us is, is a win over the long term. So some of the challenges we dealt with the mass timber is it's a relatively new technology to the United States. The material of technology has been around, it started in Europe about 25 years ago, it's just making its way here. The supply chain in the United States is fairly limited as well as the skill sets for those who can do the design and the engineering of the structures. So there are some constraints with that. We have found that if you select your right partners up front and collaborate very early, even as early as the conceptual design stage or shortly thereafter and start incorporating those elements that you have a much better project at the end of the day. We did align ourselves with the supplier early on as well as the design team to, to maximize the benefits of cross laminated timber and to help reduce the cost as much as possible and to increase the efficiency of the installation in the field. We see CLT is very much in its infant stages right now as the industry in the United States uh, due to the newness of the material. It's only been around for a few years here. This is the first hotel in the United States that's been built out of it. We do see it working in a lot of different sectors, uh, office buildings, uh, apartments, student housing, residential units, condominiums. We were able to exceed our acoustical design requirements for the hotel. and It provides a much quieter building than what we were used to building in the past. 
and we see it working very well in the multifamily sector, especially in tight urban environments where the density requires you to go up because of the real estate cost. You have the opportunity to increase your density. You can use the wood as a structural material as well as an aesthetic material and differentiate what is currently out there in the marketplace. And I think that as the industry progresses with this, the demand will be there and it will be much more commonplace than what we're seeing right now.